page 111, chapter 7. Time and Time Again A.K. Ramanujan, 1929 to 1993 A.K. Ramanujan is one of India's finest English language poets. He is best known for his pioneering translations of ancient Tamil poetry into modern English. At the time of his death, he was professor of linguistics at the University of Chicago and was recognized as the world's most profound scholar of South Indian languages and culture. His interests included anthropology and folklore. These influenced his work as a craftsman of English. This poem represents the complex distillation of a lifetime of unusual thought and feeling. Or listen to the clock towers of any old well-managed city, beating their gongs round the clock, each slightly off the other's time, deeper or lighter, in its bronze beating out a different sequence, each half hour out of the accidents of alloy, a maker's shaking hand in Switzerland, or the mutual distances, commemorating a donor's whim, the perennial feuds and seasonal alliance of Hindu, Christian and Muslim, cut off sometimes by a change of wind, a change of mind or a siren between the pieces of a backstreet quarrel. Page 112 One day you look up and see one of them, eyeless, silent, a zigzag sky showing through the knocked-out clockwork after a riot, a peace march time bomb or a precise act of nature in the night of lightnings. Responding to the poem 1. What did you think the poem was about when you read the first few lines? 2. From which line does the import of the title strike the reader? 3. What makes for the differences between the timekeeping of the various clocks? What is the implicit comparison? 4. Why is the act of nature described as precise? 5. Which of the following reflects the poet's attitude towards communal disharmony? 1. Critical condemnation 2. Helpless acceptance 3. Wistful lament 6. Is the poet's attitude a representation of how the average Indian feels, both towards human violence and nature's fury. Suggested reading The Interior Landscape by A.K. Ramanujan Poems of Love and War by A.K. Ramanujan